Hi, this is Dan Groninger for GE Inspection Technologies. I'm here with Dave Jankowski. And welcome to the next in our series of instructional videos about the, the Mentor UT. In this video, what we're going to do is cover the basic uh, assembly of the Mentor UT demo kit. And when you unbox your equipment, you should have a Mentor UT instrument with our standard connectivity module on the back. It has two axes of encoder input, or two connectors for encoder input, actually three axes, and a USB connector. You'll have your scanner with the probe attached. The scanner is made to work with this uh, demonstration plate, Lexan plate inlaid with a steel uh, target plate, a couple of rails for the encoders to ride on, you know, very basic setup. Um, on your Mentor UT itself, when you unbox it, uh, if you want to use the, the kickstand, if you're not familiar with the kickstand operation, these buttons on the end are spring-loaded. You must push those buttons in to release the stand. You can adjust the angle, and they'll latch into place. Okay. You have a battery charger, power supply for the instrument. It'll come with a standard IEC connector. It just plugs in, as you might imagine. The other end is a little barrel connector, and it, the barrel connectors include a locking ring. You just press the charge firmly into there. It's a little bit easier to turn the instrument up on edge like this and just spin that locking ring with your fingers, and it will thread on to the, the matching connector in the back of the instrument. Just tilting it up like that makes it easier to spin, and you don't have to get your fingers all wrapped around it. To attach the probe from the scanner, you have two connections, fairly obvious what goes where I think. Um, with the probe connection, there's a 144 pin docking connector, there's little nibs on each end that are keys that make sure you get it properly aligned. So you put the probe on top, cable facing towards the center of the instrument, and you fasten the this and down with the two screws that are included. Uh, you can tighten those with your fingers. It's a little bit easier just to use a screwdriver. And you just attach the probe firmly to the back of the instrument. The other cable is the encoder. So we have two axes of mechanical quadrature encoder in the scanner. Um, you want to plug this connector into the XY connector. If you look closely at the back at the module, one of the connectors is labeled XY, the other Z. If you accidentally plug into the Z connector with this, you won't hurt anything necessarily, but the instrument will turn off as soon as you move the, the encoder. So if you ever run into that, you put your system together, you've turned your instrument on, you're trying to do something, but every time you touch the encoder, the instrument turns off. Most likely, you plugged into the Z connector by mistake. The other connector back here is a USB port. So when you install new applications or when you update software, most likely you're going to have a USB memory stick, and those would plug in to the USB port right there. Okay. Power button right here. Hold the power button down for about one second. You'll see the yellow light blink several times. That's the microcontroller inside initializing. And then you'll see a, a, a cyan or a blue light, depending, or it may be green. If you're under battery power alone, it may be green. Cyan or blue indicates that the, the instrument is charging from the AC mains. <clears throat> Now, one important thing when you start with your, your demo plate, there are two ends to this, obviously. One end has a lot more uh, Lexan between the block and the edge, the GE logo on it. You want that facing you. Everything with, the, with the, the demo application and so on is made for this orientation. You want to put the, the encoder trolley on the rails with the probe facing away from you, the GE logo on the block facing towards you. That way you can roll 
the scanner back and forth and as you can see the scanner covers the steel plate very well while staying neatly on the rails. Okay, And with that we're going to uh, end this video so you've seen how to uh, the basic orientation of the scanner and the block You've seen the basic connections on the back of the instrument that you need to use to, uh, to work through the demo, how the modules attach, how the charger attaches, and of course the all-important power switch right here. With that, we will wrap this video and we will see you shortly on the next in the series. So again, this is Dave and Dan for General Electric Inspection Technologies and thank you for looking at the Mentor UT.